Hi, welcome to One for the Road, where we navigate sobriety, recovery, and life in general. Tune in as we share our experience and opinions while answering any questions you may have. I'm Marissa. This is my co-host, Judy. Hello, everyone. I forgot what I was going to say there for a second. Good to so, um, okay, oh, it's one of those days. Let's it get is. started. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. Let me just do our intro really quick. You have to like our videos. You have to subscribe, leave a Who comment. One for the tell road. Us what, one for the road. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell us what you want us to talk about, if anything. Tell us yeah. what you want us to shut up. Right. Yeah. Probably tell you where to go. Right. Um, <laughs> the shutting up part's really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a challenge. Um, okay. Anyways, topic of the day. Here's topic what we're going to of- talk about. And I was, I've been stalling and I wonder if it's because I don't want to talk about the topic. We were just having a conversation. We're like, oh, if it's not good, we won't post it. Like whatever. Right. But in my head, I think that um, I'm like stalling because I, I want to talk about guilt. Yeah. And what guilt looks like in recovery, um, you know, how to, how to manage that, like what that looks like, what it means, like all things, all um, things guilt, all guilt, things guilt related. So, yeah. and that's like a challenging topic to talk about because guilt is a powerful emotion, at least yeah. for me. And it encompasses so many other things. Defects. So, so many other defects. Sure. Sure. So, so what, so what do you got? Just going to put you on the hook first, <laughs> pass that over to you per usual. Thank you. You know, I'm just going to say when I don't want to do something, it's probably the thing I should do, <laughs> Yeah. you know, because I too was like, well, let's brainstorm, you know, like we had this topic picked and I was like, well, let's just change it. Let's go looking around and find something else because uh, uh, you know, guilt isn't a favorite of mine. I, I'm going to just breathe, breathe through it. I don't, there are things to do when I feel guilty for sure. I don't have a list of those things handy. Um, when these things come up, the biggest thing for me is remembering that when I first got sober, I felt guilty about a lot of actions, right? Um, a lot of things I did, a lot of things I said, you know, we work some steps in order to get through that sort of regret, you know, and, um, and kind of put that stuff in its place, like trying to stay in the present versus, you know, going back in time and holding on to those things or future surfing. Right. Um, and so I need to remind myself regularly when I start to feel guilty about a certain thing, right. Even in the present moment, I do look at that stuff, right. Did I, what was my motive? You know, was I trying to be an asshole or did I just inadvertently become an asshole? You know, that right there can leave some of that guilt, right? If my motive was not to tell you whatever asshole (laughs) thing I told you, you know, um, I I don't necessarily need to feel guilty then. Right. And I also have some tools that I can then um, utilize, you know, like saying sorry and whatever I find guilt overall is a lot for me is my ego, right? Like if I think I, you know, I play around with a lot of things in my mind, I will say something and be like, eh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe it was, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's not, you know, and all of that stuff. And for me, you know, I can romanticize a lot of things and justify my behavior where it then leads me down the path of a few months later, revisiting and feeling that guilt, or I can I lost my train of thought, or I can look at it now, right. And realize immediately that, you know, maybe it's just my ego getting in the way and thinking that, you know, I'm more important than I really am. You know, Mm -hmm. guilt is the thing like where I think I'm not measuring up as well. Like I should be better. I should this, or I should, you know, comparing myself to other people rather than just letting myself have its own journey and letting those people have their journey. Um, and so then I feel guilty that I'm comparing. And like I said, it can get into that loop. And sometimes it's just as easy as stopping, which we laughed about before we started to record. Just stop. Sure. You know, it sounds right. easy, but you know, I, I cheer hear up, you. chill out, just cheer stop. Up. Right. Just, just stop. You know, and that's great. My ears hear you. It's the brain. Right. And that's why I think a lot of this, and I remind myself a lot of stuff, this is a thinking disease, right? 
alcohol and drugs were a solution to my problem, was the solution to my brain and that overactive ability that I know that it can have. And I don't even know if that's a word, overactive ability. However, that's what it looks sounds like. Good. <laughs> it sounds good. Well, <laughs> and that's my overactive brain, right? Like just when you said that word, it's not a word. That's the kind of stuff, right? When I just let myself be in the moment, you know, and, and know that I've done everything I can to amend any piss poor behavior in the past, I don't need to keep revisiting that. Right. I don't need to keep going back in time. Oh, I wish this or oh, I should have that because it's not, I'm not going to get anywhere and I'm not going to get anywhere quick. You know, looking at the future, you know, and feeling like creating scenarios and feeling guilty about the scenarios that I'm going to say, then he's going to say, and all of that, you know, and that I'm constantly letting people down. I need to cut myself some slack. I am just a human being, right? I'm in fail. I'm not infallible. I almost said I'm infallible. That's Freudian slip. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be awesome? So I don't know if there's really an answer in there. I just know that what guilt is, right? And I looked it up, believe it or not, definition, and I'm going to turn it back to you, so get ready. But there are two kinds of guilt, right? There's natural guilt, is what the internet says. And then there's toxic guilt. And toxic guilt is the kind of guilt that I think I'm talking about, right? The stuff that I think I am not worthy of, or the things that I think, right. Versus naturally being guilty of being an asshole. And then just having to do the simple thing of saying, I'm sorry. And then changing my behavior, you know, that's a natural guilt. Um, you know, when I really act out, when I really am sorry, and when I really try to change, you know, um, that alleviates that natural guilt, but the toxic guilt is the kind of stuff that I tend to carry around created things, the shoulda, woulda, couldas and all of that. And it gets me nowhere. I don't have an answer as to how to get out of it, except what I've been told by two people in the last two days, stop it, just stop. So (laughs) I'm working on stopping it, right. Getting out of the problem, which is normally me and, you know, look into how can I help somebody else? Cause I'm not solving all my problems in the day. So it's, I don't know if that made any sense. I don't know if this is really about guilt anymore or ego or whatever. So yeah, right. back sounds to you, good. Back to all, you Marissa. It sounds good all the same. And I was sitting there like listening to you and I'm like, yep, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, you know, I, I was thinking in terms of like, um, you know, I, before I quit drinking, um, I don't even really know that I felt I probably felt a lot of guilt. That's probably why I drank, you know, because I didn't drink just because everything was like going well in my life. But um, when I did get sober, I got sober and I was faced with all of the things that I had said and I had done. And there was an immense amount of guilt. Um, And I couldn't allow myself to realized that a lot of the things that I said and did were because I was drinking. Mm-hmm. I don't always agree with that drunk mind, sober heart, you know, whatever saying yeah. there is. I don't always, I don't always, um, I don't always resonate with that saying. Um, and I get, I get why, you know, people say it and whatever, but, um, you know, when I got sober, I had to look back and, you know, a lot of a lot of people told me like, you wouldn't do that if you were drinking or like, if you weren't drinking or using, right. Like you wouldn't have said those things. You wouldn't have done that. And that's true. Most of the things that I carried guilt for moving forward in my recovery, like I know for a fact, I would not do that stuff today. And not because I've changed and become so wonderful, but simply because I removed this poison, right. 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 That cut out all like inhibitions and all like consciousness and, you know, morals and whatever it cut out all that stuff. So just naturally by like removing that source, I'm no longer doing some of the things that I carry the most guilt for. Now that being said, there were still some behaviors, right? I didn't get, um, wiped clean of all of my defects or anything like that. So I still had some actions and behaviors that I would feel extreme guilt about. And, you know, guilt for me turns into shame quickly because Mm. it's been told to me 
that guilt is feeling bad about something you've done. Shame is feeling bad about who you are. Uh, and that has always stuck with me. And, um, you know, like I, I yell at the dog and I, I feel a little guilty, like poor dog. You know what I mean? Like you didn't mean to be guilty, <laughs> but you did something. And I'm like, you know, man, I'm, I feel guilt and I feel guilt because I yelled at you, you know, and turning that into shame and being like, I'm the worst person in the world. Like it's so dramatic. Right. It's so dramatic. It's true. I do it, but it's, it's a little dramatic and, you know, guilt comes with the idea that there is some sort of perfection. And you kept saying like, I cut myself some slack, like whatever. But when you're someone like myself, who's obsessed with perfection, anything that I do that doesn't align myself with some sort of perfection, right? I think perfect is never yelling at the dog. And I'm just using the dog as the reference. Because, so, right. You know, the dogs aren't abused. The FYI. Right. Yes, right. <laughs> it might be. Um, but, you know, it comes into mind that um, I, I just expect perfection out of myself. And when I fall short of what I think, right? What I think somebody else will be like, yeah, people yell at their dogs because they're a pain in the ass, right? It's like, well, you yell at your kids, like, and right. you don't mean to, but it happens, you know, and, and, and the dog can be used for many, many different things, you know, like fill in the blank. But I was so, I've been so obsessed with the idea of being perfect and, you know, never, never talking out of turn, never saying a negative thing, you know, <laughs> For sure. You would think for someone that's obsessed with perfection, I'd act right a little bit more, you know, but. It's but even tough, that, but... yeah, even that comment, though, I would act right. Like, right. That's the, that's the perception. Right. It, that's my perception. That exactly. And it's my perception. And who's to say, you know what I'm supposed to be in. And, and so it does come down to like. You know, I don't think just stop it, which I think is terrible advice. Right. Like it's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's the worst advice. Just stop. <laughs> You might as well okay. to calm down. It's right? like, like telling me to stop works. drinking. If I could do that, I wouldn't be sitting here. Right? But it's I like think that, like you said, right, like checking my motives, check what happened. Like I would have never done that. Like I would have never done half the things I did if I wasn't drinking. So I stopped drinking and that did clear up a lot of my guilt. Right. And then I learned about my emotions. Right. Because I can be drunk on anger and say some shit just the same as, you know, if I was drinking For sure. and that can turn in. To that, you know, so I have to learn how to control these emotions that prompt these actions that I then become guilty. full of guilt for, right. you know, like I, um, I, I just have to, like, that's the next step for me. Right. I cut out the, the drugs and alcohol, and then I still have some behaviors and some defects that prompt all this guilt. And it's hard. And it is the ego. You said it, you nailed it on the head when it's like the ego tells me that I should be better at this. Who says that? Who no. says that? Who says Nobody. you should or could, yeah. you know, we tell ourselves that, you know, and then I'm trying to live up to my unrealistically high expectation of self, right? Mm -hmm. The perfectionism in me. And I'm just full of guilt and shame. And the reality is, is that I'm a human being and I make mistakes and I'm not Perfect. And that is one of the hardest things for me to come to grips with. You know, I, I wish I were better. Well, yeah. what is better and who gets to decide what that is? You know, well, you see a behavior you're not fond of yeah. make an amends for it when you are ready to change the behavior, right? Like right. I don't apologize today unless I'm ready to change a behavior, unless I have full intent on figuring out where that came from and how I can do better next time. Right. I don't go off and apologize, not even to myself until I know. And maybe that's being hard on myself, but you know, it's a, it's a it, system that seemed to work for me thus far. Right. And I think it's worked for others too. Right. Like that was the thing I used to say, sorry, all the time. And I would mean it in the minute, but I didn't know how it came about. Like you said, I never looked at it, you know, more often than not, I would point the finger. I would, I wouldn't have done what I did if you didn't do what you do, did. So I'm sorry with absolutely no intention of changing, you know? Right. And today that is the difference. I relate to that, you know, perfectionism thing. And you're right. Who gets to say what is good in me and what's not right. I mean, listen, I vote with my feet today, right. That was like a thing I heard before. And so, you know, if, if you keep coming at me, telling me about me, I have to just love you and say, you know what, there's probably something in you. <laughs> You know, and, right. and you know, you figure out you, right? Like whatever, because I was thinking as you were talking, you know, about the 
comparing and, you know, people saying that not good enough, you know, and I've heard that stuff, right? I mean, I've been around for, you know, a few years, 53 years on this planet, you know, someone's bound to not like something I say or something I do. And again, you know, if it's just my existence, then that's what it is. But I felt guilty for a while about my existence, you know, and that perfectionism then was sort of ingrained, right? Because when you hear things like not good enough, or you should be doing that better, you know, you tend to analyze every single thing you do. And then Mm -hmm. when it doesn't measure up to whatever that lofty expectation is, it's not something that was never going to be met. I feel bad. I feel guilty. I should have been, I should, you know, I shouldn't have done that. And I shouldn't have, again, I, you know, I spent a lot of time there, you know, there was some drinking and some drug use that was because of that sort of thinking, you know, you know, well, if they already think that, then I might as well keep going. Right. And if you already think this, then I have, you know, like I'm, I was always constantly that people pleaser and trying to change people's minds about me, yeah. you know, I, your opinion mattered. And it's not to say that people's opinions of me don't matter, but they're not the driving force today. They can't be because it made me sick and not just by using right drugs or alcohol, but it made me sick spiritually. You know, if I can't get up and look at myself in the mirror and say, Hey, good morning, you know, you're not hung over and have that be good enough. You know, just that simple act, you know, when I'm picking apart hair and makeup and all just everything that goes through this crazy thing, you know, it makes me and then and then again, get into that loop of you shouldn't do that to yourself. You should, you know, and it's like the guilt, it can be overwhelming. And when I'm in that loop, we talked about it in another episode, you know, about focusing on problems, right. Versus focusing on solutions. And I think that that's kind of where it has to be for me. If I'm going to focus on every single thing wrong with me, I'm never going to see the good stuff. And I'm going to remain in a place of guilt. I'm going to remain in a place of shame, whole nother episode, shame, you know, yeah, for sure. But you know, so I don't, I know that, you know, just stop it is a hard thing, right? right? But what does just stopping it look like? Just stopping it looks like, you know, we, again, I will repeat myself, you know, calling somebody and asking them how they are, you know, not looking at myself so critically, you know, doing the simple things, exercise, you know, and clean the house. And, you know, yesterday I was guilt ridden, right? Like that was one of the things when we talked about this in the morning you know, and then, you know, events being what they are, I felt convicted yesterday. Like, and, and that's the other thing, you know, I felt convicted and, and I was embarrassed that I felt so bad, you know, and, um, and it's just kind of what it is. I mean, we're, we're trying to all navigate this stuff. Right. And so I don't really have a lot of solutions about guilt. You know, I know that it comes and I know that it goes, but as long as I try to monitor my motives, in my thoughts and my actions, right? My thoughts and my actions. And if I can kind of keep those emotions, like you were talking about in some sort of right sizeness, right? So just, you know, have them where they belong. You know, a lot of that guilt just goes away on its own. It's sort of like that magic thing that happens. You know, when I do the next right thing, I feel better. And when I feel better, I emanate that around my peers. And then, you know, So things just kind of tend to move along unless I'm bringing in the energy of aggression and, you know, dominance and the things, you know, wanting my way, I'm going to get those results then too, you know? So what do I do? I uh, try to not do stuff that leads to guilt, Yeah, (laughs) you know, you know, I struggle with guilt in the sense too, that like, um, when I first got sober, I operated out of guilt a lot too, which was Mm. very damaging for my life because I, felt like I owed so many people, so many things, you know, and I, uh, I talk about my sister a lot, just, she's just a big part of my story. And, um, and I did not that I would like, not that I regret that stuff or whatever, but I noticed, um, I overdid things, right. Like I wanted to, I wanted to like help with everything. And I wanted to watch her kid when she had it all the time. And I just wanted to like, <laughs> make up for all this time, which it's all stuff that I love to do, but I was so adamant about doing it because I wanted to absolve myself of all the guilt that I had inside me towards, you know, like things that I had said to her or done to her or, you know, whatever, like, and I, um, you know, I, I pretended a lot in like relationships with other people because I, 
I felt guilty for things that I had done and I was not true to myself. I made relationships seem better than, than what they were um, because I felt all that guilt and, and shame, right? Like, and it shames a whole other video, but like, I, I felt a lot of guilt and shame towards how I had been in the past relationship that I completely took you out of the equation and like how you had acted towards me too. And then I just took, I put it all on me that I was all bad, you know, and I forget that other people play Ego. a part too. Ego. Exactly. 100%, you know? Okay. And so when I got sober, I just went into overdrive trying to be great and be there for people who kind of like, weren't always the best towards me, you know, but I didn't realize that stuff. Cause I was drinking and then, and then I was drunk on all the guilt and all the shame, you know? So I, I would, um, I would operate in relationships out of that. And that's not fair. Well, and, and if you think about it, you know, we do this thing where we live in a mend, right? So, but I, I, and I'm laughing cause I did the exact same you know, like I over, always had to overdo it. I was going to prove how sorry and prove how much you mean to me. And now they have people pleasing and it left me resentful, you know, after a certain point, right? Like, especially for people who played a part, you know, right. and, and, the, and, and I took their part, you know? So, but I think it was, it's kind of funny that you brought it up because, you know, that's the alcoholic, right? Like that's a, here, I'm going to do this thing and then I'm going to do it all, <laughs> you know, like there's yeah. just no, there wasn't any, I shouldn't say there isn't now there is now. Right. But when I, I agree, when I got here, I would go overboard, you know, and take, taking the other people out of the equation because maybe they didn't want me to be doing all of these things, but I wasn't having right. it. I'm going to show you, you know, sometimes just good living, you know, and just doing that right thing, that right action, you know, and not doing the old stuff is enough for some people, you know, like that's all they really ever wanted. They didn't need all the extra, you know, my daughter, tells right. me, you know, Kate says it all the time. She's like, you're not just extra. She's your extra, extra. And I'm like, hmm, right. No, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks. Love that. Right. Yeah. So oh, I know so that's it. That's guilt. guilt. That's it's guilt for today. Yeah. It'll be another, I feel like we're going to have multiple parts on uh, every yeah, Every I think topic. that gonna... I, you could just go so much more into it. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of today. Revisiting, revisiting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, because it's all the same stuff, just repeated over and over and over again. Right. Like, because there's. Yeah, there's a handful of solutions in my life today, but don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. That's all my the outro. Stuff. All the stuff. Do all the things. All the things. Um, Hope some of it resonates. If not. Sorry. <laughs> if not cool right. too, take what you need. Yeah, that's leave the rest. It's leave all the good. rest. Yeah. All right. Keep coming back. We'll keep see you coming next time. Back. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification button so you know when new posts are coming up. Keep coming back.